I'm sure it's nothing you don't like Hey boys, what's going on? It's your boy Colazo here today, guys. And today is day four of Ancient Bond spoilers. So today we had some uh, pretty cool cards. There was two of them that were released, and both of them are Arcanists. Before we start, let me apologize that it's dark in my room, or at least I think it's dark. Uh, my lighting sucks. We all know that. We'll get over it, right? Uh, and secondly, let me apologize because the cards I bring to you guys are enlarged a little bit, which is why they're a little bit blurry. But if I make them any smaller, smaller, they're kind of hard to read. And it's kind of hard to uh, to make it out. And then also, uh, for some reason, on the on the website where you, where uh, Duelist posts all the spoilers and the animations, this animation doesn't move. Just like the one from I think yesterday, it doesn't move. But that's what it looks like. So let's start with our first card since we're talking about its animation. This card is a two mana Vaynar minion, and this card is called Circulus. He's an Arcanist and he's epic. He's a 1-3 with whenever you cast a spell, add a 2-1 illusion to your action bar. Now, I don't know you guys, but this screams Kara to me. I'm sure it does to the rest of you guys as well. Now, the 2-1 uh, Illusionist is a 1-mana uh, minion. It's the same card, or it's the same minion that Prismatic Illusionist spawns. So, that's what it is if you guys were wondering. Now, I don't know if this card's going to be a staple. It's probably going to be more of a memes kind of deck. But, you know, with, with Albie Sage on the field, uh, he can buff those 2-1 minions pretty high. And with the upcoming Arcanist support, who knows what we're going to get. But all I can say about this card right now is that it's a it's a 2-mana creature that doesn't immediately impact the board. Uh, it's going to have to live for probably at least a turn before you can use its ability. Uh, if it's early game, which is when you want to use it. And then uh, late game, you know, I mean, it's going to give you two ones, but late game, you want something a little bigger than that. All I can say is maybe we'll see a Kara Arcanist deck with this in it and some memes, but I don't really see it anywhere else. Or not yet. Wait till we get the rest of the Arcanist and the rest of the expansion, then we'll kind of go through it again and kind of, you know, see what, what belongs where and what we're going to see. Now, I mean, it is a cool card, and it does spawn you two ones, and two ones could could be really nice in like a like a you know a spam minion kind of deck, like a swarm kind of Kara deck. So Arcanist Swarm might be a thing, but um, I, I don't know where else you guys would see this. You guys aren't going to see this in any kind of competitive deck, I'm sure of it, unless competitive decks turn to Kara Swarm. <laughs> But anyways, that's really all to talk about with this card. Until we get more Arcanist cards, it's it's really hard to tell if this is going to see a place in any kind of deck that's not Kara. But anyways, yeah, let's keep moving on, guys. The second card I have for you guys, let me take this off your screen, is pretty cool. Now, this is the one I'm pumped about. Now, this card is a 5-mana neutral card, and he's called Blue uh, Conjurer. I can't say that word. I apologize. Close enough. He's an Arcanist, and he is a uh, rare, and he's a 4-6. And whenever you cast a spell, put a random Arcanist into your action bar. Now, random Arcanist is a random Arcanist in the game, not just your deck. You could you could even pull this guy again. You could pull a Songai Arcanist with, um, what's the Songai Arcanist? Four Winds and a Chakri Avatar. I was trying to think for a minute there. Uh, yeah, you could pull a Four Winds and a Chakri Avatar. You could pull anything in the game with this card. Now, this card's super strong, a 4-6 is a great great body it's amazing you know polarity on this thing is is pretty beautiful you can make it a six four and i think we're going to see polarity a lot more in the upcoming sets polarity arcanist might be a thing definitely with albie sage running around it would just be too fun not to play uh, I'm, I'm super excited for this card i think it's a lot better than the five mana uh, arcanist we have now which is fire starter i think this is going to see a spot in arcanist and fire starter probably will sit on the bench uh, at least for a while unless someone finds out a really good deck with him. But yeah, man, I'm super excited for this card. I I'm glad they made this card neutral because it's very powerful. And we haven't even seen the rest of the Arcanist support that we're going to get in this upcoming set. So the fact that they threw us this big boy and he's not even a legendary is great. Because this is going to let you refill your hand with an Arcanist, right? And put a big powerful creature on the board. And every time you cast a spell, you just get another good minion in your hand hopefully a good minion in your hand but you're at least going to get minions that help the archetype that you're playing which is arcanist so you know i'm super pumped for this card i think this is probably going to be a staple in arcanist for sure and if you're playing uh like kara swarm again like let's talk about that once you throw this down and just start playing some spells you're going to have 
tons of minions in your hand between this and the last card I just showed you guys. You guys are going to be having the illusions in your hand, and you're going to have random arcanists in your hand. That And then hopefully, they can pull you something good. I'm sure we're going to see some legendary arcanists here soon. Uh, there's already some in the game with like Archon Spellbinder. Uh, that would be a really cool card to pull with this. So, you know, there is some pretty clutch pulls you can pull with this thing, and I'm super, super pumped for this card. That's really it that I really have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry that it's not a super long video. I'm super exhausted today. And, uh, you know, right now we just don't really have a lot to go off uh, with the cards that we got since we haven't seen any other Arcanist support. Uh, not yet. Like I said, I think this card's going to be one of the stronger cards in Arcanist. It's a strong body and has a super strong ability. And I'm, I'm really surprised that they only made it a rare and not an epic. I would think this card would be epic for sure. The last one should have been a rare and this card should have been an epic in my opinion. But anyways, like I said, I'm your boy Colazo. Hope you guys keep on dueling and I'll see you guys next time.